So can you see the screen? Yes, we can. Able Hello. To. Okay. Um, well, just a second. Yes, so, so queues um, and public groups, they're actually used for totally, completely different uh, purpose uh, because um, queues are like, this is com uh, entirely what the thing is. So I've put it in one slide. Um, uh, queues are usually typically used when we have to assign a record to a bunch of users and uh, using queues, we can assign the record to a multiple users so that, that any member of the queue can work on the record, especially we've used this uh, in the workflows and escalation rules when we have to share, uh, not exactly share, when we give the ownership of that those records to the people in the queue. But uh, whereas public groups, we are using mostly for sharing and security purposes. And public groups, like as it says, public groups are used primarily for security. And it's um, public group is a kind of team or a group of related users that will help to share the data. And groups are used more for sh uh, the sharing purposes and they are not the owners of the records. In the case of public groups, it's only the records are just shared with these groups. They are not the owner of these of records, unlike uh, the queue. And um, the public groups created can be used across any objects. And um, yes, the group can uh, contain individual users, other groups or users in a particular role or territory. And it can actually it also in, um, allows people below the certain category, uh, below a certain hierarchical cat uh, roles also, we can share in the public groups, but if you see in the cube, yeah, only the um, yeah, P, uh, users in the hi uh, hierarchical role who are above, they can be getting access to the cube. And queues we also use for load balancing between, you know, users um, that can, you know, very well be used when one of them goes on a vacation and or if they want to share the load of the work. So that's when we use the queues and public groups are for sharing. I hope it's pretty self-explanatory. I hope you understood. Okay, am I still on the call? So anyone have any questions? So generally public no, group, Okay, good. So generally public group is nothing but a collection of users or you can say public group can contain uh, users, roles, roles and subordinates, or you can add one more public group. Okay, in the public group, you can add one more public group also. Okay, so that is a public group. Generally, public group uh, will use in a record level security, the topic till we have not discussed. I'll discuss that topic also. And QC is nothing but a collection of users. There also you can add roles and roles and subordinates. And Q in the queue, you can add a public group, but in the public group, you cannot add a queue. Everyone is following what I'm saying? In the public group, you can include one more public group. Okay, in the queue also, you can include a public group. Can we add queues in the public group? No, no, we can add, we cannot add queues into the public group. So generally queues, whatever Nancy said, that is correct. If you want to send some records to the multiple group of uh, people or roles, anything, we can use a queue. We can share that record to the queue. Okay. Generally we can use like, this is like a owner. Okay. So generally we can use this queues in a case assignment rules. Okay. And the lead assignment rules. Okay. So all those things, if you want to use a queue, generally we have to specify which object you want to use queue. We have to specify in the queue. Uh, which objects you want to use in that queue are those things. Okay. Yeah, that's all about this difference. Okay. Thanks, Nancy. That's, it's good, actually. Thank you, sir.